All week long, we're airing a special Don't Waste Your Money series dedicated to saving you money. Everyone is feeling the pinch right now, of course. The 7% inflation rate is certainly taking a bite out of your budget, savings accounts, even the best ones, are only paying a fraction of a percent of interest. And it's been a rough few weeks on the stock market as well and could be getting even rockier. So what can you do to protect and even make money on your money? I spoke with a financial expert to get answers. We're seeing it everywhere, at the grocery store, the gas pump, and the auto showroom. Everyone is just feeling the hurt right now. The annual inflation rate is now 7%, the highest since 1982, according to Labor Department statistics. We turn to Jennifer Bloom of Bloom Advisors for a game plan for our money during inflationary times. I think people need to first get a hold of their expenses. You know, the, the, the best thing that consumers can do during times like this is to control what they're spending. Next, be proactive, especially if you have savings in cash. Jennifer says shop for the best rates for that money. If you have debt, high interest debt, credit card debt, now is the time to really think about paying that down because the Fed has signaled that rates are going to increase. The first people to get hit are going to be consumers. If debt is not a problem and you're looking to make money on your money with no risk, Jennifer suggests I-bonds. This is a product that is designed to help you curb inflation. The U.S. Treasury issues I-bonds. It's an attractive offer. It's 7.12% until April of 2022, which is probably as good as it's going to get. It's a pretty good rate. There are stipulations. You can only spend $10,000 per person. The bonds must be held for at least one year. If you sell before the five-year term, there is a three-month interest penalty. The rate is variable and adjusted twice a year. It could be a great product for some, but for others, you know, better to pay off debt. If you own a home and have yet to refinance your mortgage with the still low interest rates available, Jennifer says that's another must do. Number three is to review your investments. We really believe in a well-diversified portfolio and well-diversified portfolios can have a fair amount of flex in terms of protecting you from inflation. And number four? Stay calm, be smart, fear and greed are the two most uh, common dangerous emotions for investors. You know, you really want to be careful before you make any rash decisions. And there's a good amount of fear out there right now with inflation and seeing prices increasing, particularly at the gas pump and the grocery store. And again, our Smart Saver series airs all week long. You can also head to WXYZ.com for more ways to help fight inflation. All Carol? right, David Lou, I was taking notes there on all your right. story. I got some tips. Thank you.